Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot, bringing you another Madden 18 Money Play video. This is my first defensive play video of the Madden 18 season. I know that it's one of the most requested things. People are freaking out because there's not a lot of defense, and I know a lot of you guys look to me because you know last year I had some really great defensive plays. Well, I have some pretty good base defense plays so far this year. I don't have a lot of blitzes just yet, um, but this one here is actually pretty good. You get some pretty good pressure out of it, but there really are no like you know straight up money blitzes if people do certain things this year, like if they ID the mic or. Or, um, if they have adequate blockers Madden is really or EA rather has been really um, on point as far as making sure that they're protecting the quarterback because they want people to work the new passing system and I know they can't do that uh, you can't do that if they if there's instant pressure but uh, the number one base defense uh, that I've been running is a 4-3 but I kind of fashion it to make it look like a 4-4 anyway so let's go ahead and let's pick that first play like I was telling you if I can go back and find it. The 4-3 under. I'm using the Eagles playbook, but if you're using a team that uses a 4-3, uh, chances are it will have one of these two plays in it. So just check your favorite playbook uh, before you go running and picking the Eagles book. Uh, but the play that I want to show, the first play that I want to show is the FS Fire 3. So it's real simple. You see the safety drops down the box. That's okay. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, you know, if, you, if somebody's running a hurry up on you, you can let the computer drop down the safety himself. Uh, what I like to do is actually like to move him right to the line of scrimmage, right outside here, get as close to the line of scrimmage as possible. This, I find, will get you uh, the best angle as far as pressure. Um, and his job is really just to cut off any runs to that side. Uh, like I said, he's not necessarily going to get um, heat every play. Like I said, a play action, he probably will uh, because the, I, the running back's busy uh, play faking to the point where it won't um, you know, do too good of a job. Uh, some blocking basically uh, but his job is really just to force that side of the ball I mean if you look at the run fits which it doesn't it doesn't appear that the run fits is the same <laughs> I don't even know how to look at the run fits this year that's how different it is uh, but either way um, like I said his job is really just to take this away uh, if it, you know as far as a run lane if somebody if, if this is a formation and the running back runs up the center he's gonna be chasing behind it you know what I'm saying so he's basically controlling that whole side and that's why I have him going in on every play um, you know, to do that. Now, on the other side, uh, I typically am going to be using uh, either... I, I want Kendrick's out a little bit further, uh, for one thing, because he's trying to get to the sideline. So if I have him out here, typically between the defensive tackle and the defensive end, um, it'll just give him a little more time to get out and cover that space. It's my option whether I want to do over-the-top uh, coverage, which I feel that the curl flat is the smarter um, the smarter option because I don't think that the, um, the, the, the uh, cover... Uh, what do they call that? Like the the match formation? Uh, what are they? The seam flats here? I don't feel like these seam flats are nearly as effective as they were last year. I feel like they kind of muted them a little bit because they were probably the best zone in the game last year. So uh, typically Madden likes to kill whatever's popular the year before, uh, which is why I don't think cover two really works that great either. Uh, but basically, uh, the way that this worked last year is they would cover the the flats a lot better with this uh, with this um, zone, which they don't really don't do now. So it's up to you if you want to do over the top coverage, um, just to you know guarantee. I find that the seam flats get lost in between zones. I find that they, if there's a guy high and a guy low, they kind of sit in between and cover neither. So I like to go over the top coverage quite a bit, or do I like to do just a straight up hard flat now, um, just to take one of them? Because I feel like the, uh, the 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 dark blue zones, which is what Mill's running here, they cover. Um, you know they'll cover deep and short better which is weird I find this is a better combination sometimes but you really have to mess with that yourself I'm not gonna tell you what's the best coverage uh, I'm just gonna show you what the best uh, setup is for this play so the way this plays diagram you basically have to cover center by yourself and I'm not a huge fan of doing that so what I typically like to do is I like to stand up uh, this defensive end here uh, Graham now if I think that it's gonna be a run I'll typically let him go in if I want a little extra pressure, I'll let him go in. But that's really up to you. He's the free man on defense. You can do with him what you want to do. If you think that you can cover by yourself and you want that little extra pressure, leave him in. I typically stand him up um, so he can stand in the way. If you see right here the diagram, he's going to drop right into where Shepard is and give me a little bit of coverage. He's not going to give you great coverage because he's a defensive end. You could always substitute a linebacker there. would be the smart way to go. But that way, he has outside enough 
that you don't have to leave the middle. Your zone is going to be important leaving the middle. If somebody's crossing across your face from left to right, you can let him go. You can pass him off the defensive end zone. Uh, you don't want to typically cover the entire center of the field by yourself. I don't find it's the best way to do that. Now, uh, that's pretty much it. That's the setup. I'll go ahead and I'll run this a couple times against the computer just to show you how it works. Hopefully I can get this set up. I, it, oh, that's right. They don't do that anymore. <laughs> I was going to say uh, uh, they don't... Uh, they usually wait for me to set up now, which is going to be nice. So this is the look. Snap it. Right out the gate. Ooh, we're going to get a on the first play. <laughs> Let's go. Like I said, you can let McLeod come down. I only do that really if I'm having issues. Say somebody's running a hurry up faster than I can run my, uh, my offense. But here's the look. Go ahead and run it. Oh, I really got bad coverage, and we get the get the sack right out the gate. I actually want to see that replay. I didn't even see what happened. I was watching the coverage, so here's the replay. Uh, I think he just comes around the end. I mean, that's what I mean. Like that's, I'm not guaranteeing this is the type of pressure you're gonna get every play, but I have noticed pretty good got a pretty good pressure, and you can see there the running back just whiffs. Um, the guard, you know, what I'm saying he gets stuck. Uh, basically on the tackle so uh, like I said this is for me this has been one of the best ways to get pressure so let's go ahead and let's run a few more times see there that would have been covered that was my that was my bad there so let's go ahead and let's do this again oh we got that oh there we go McLeod with the sack again Getting way more pressure than I thought I would, but like I said, I have noticed pretty good pressure with this. And we're oh, I really just blew that myself. I just did that myself. And <laughs> we got a fumble. That would have been an easy sack if I would just let it go. I gotta see that instant replay. I totally blew that. But we're gonna watch that again. Um, once again, this is a play action. The guy just comes in free. You know what I mean? And I I, I whiffed it. <laughs> I used to control that. <laughs> We're getting some serious pressure, though. I mean, that's what I was expecting. So, all right, so let's go. They're not running the ball a lot, but you see, look at it, nothing, zero. I've used this play here against as much as a three-wide set. Um, you can get away with that. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like this is that's a, it's a pretty good base defense up to a three-wide set, but you don't typically want a linebacker covering um, a receiver. So let's go ahead and let's rock this. Oh wow, I, I was totally blocked. That was a bad read by me, but the defense held on. Once again, that's the safety. This safety right here, he should be the best player on your defense because that safety is the man. He's got to do pretty much everything. I'm really relying on that safety to get stuff done as you see right there he just comes in free and kills the running back he's the man right there that safety is, is, is this defense really highlights that guy so if you got a top notch safety make sure he's playing that job play, doing that job and running again I mean this guy they haven't gained a single yard on the ground right now and I'm not doing a thing you know what I'm saying it's like it's not even me it's the computer is doing all of it and that's what that's what a good defense is. A good defense should handle the run essentially by itself. Well, there, I had to step in and get a little get a little dirty. Like I said, this is all you know. This this is all designed this way. This is all set up this way. Um, it's all it's all how I set up my formation that stops the run. That's like the number one thing. Look at that. We we're just mashing. Well, I'm only going to run this like one more time because I think I proved my point. I'm um, just having fun. Sometimes I do that. I get a little lost. Enjoying myself. I love this game. That's how I am. That's why I do what I do. Oh, I totally bit on that, but you know what? So did the uh, safety. So let's go ahead. Let's call that a... Let's end this. So that's it. More. If you want to see more defense, I got two more defensive play videos uh, that are in uh, going to be on Patreon first but if you guys want to see them make sure you smash that like button because i know you guys want defense uh make sure you hit that like button and i'll put those out next that's it other than that thanks for watching man Money shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below